Well, well, well. Happy holidays, everybody. Very happy holiday season. Well, today it is the 24th of December. Well, it will soon be the 25th. Ugh. And I've found out that if you could, if you ask Siri where Santa is on the 24th of December and only that day only, it says a different answer instead of just the North Pole. So I'm going to try this for myself. Okay, Siri. Where is Santa right now? He's heading south and north and east and west, actually. It's a big night. There's one of them. Now that you mention it, I think I just heard him on a rooftop nearby. <gasps> Maggie! <sighs> Let me turn the light on so you can see her. Kitty! Did you hear that? Santa's on a rooftop nearby. You better go to sleep, cat. You better go to sleep. You could be here any minute. Well, well, well. With that said, I'm going to resume this in the morning. Oh, I wonder what's in this box. Um, actually, it's over here. That's right, everybody. Oh, we have a fridge, a mini fridge. Yeah. No, I don't know how many gamers have these types of fridges in their setup, but look at this. Looks so cool. There's so much in here. There's a beautiful little thing, and there's some. Looks like, oh, there's some drawers that pull out, too. No, no, that's actually a rack. And there's some things holding it in place. I think those are removable as well. So I think that one's removable, too. And then there's a little dispenser in here and stuff like that. Kind of like what you'll find in a hotel or something. And looks like a little care guide. We'll work on this much, much later. We'll just enjoy the rest of the holidays. We'll have this going by the new year, so... Yeah, starting the new year off correctly. Uh, so it's been a few days, and I thought I'd show you the rest of my holiday gifts. I said I wouldn't do a holiday haul, but I have no other choice. Got a duvet cover. I put the duvet under here, actually in it. You stuff the duvet in it and it protects it. Along with this gray bed sheet set. It looks like snow. Over here we have a brush and a notebook. The fridge looks cool though. Take a look at this. Yeah, it's a freezer compartment too. And yeah, like, it's kind of like a gaming setup now. Because now you won't have to come around the uh, the um, now I won't have to leave the the room to maybe get water or something. I can just put it right here. Let me turn this on for you guys. And it's gonna go over to somewhere over here. I'll let them cool down. This was last year, and that was last year. This is a massaging thing. You press and hold it. I'm going to have fun with that. Now, the, another package. I can't tell you what's inside of it, but I got a card that um, only had a receipt for something. And I couldn't believe it, of course, until I got this package. And in tie, inside, there's a whole bunch of mounting hardware for acoustic panels. Well, fast forward to the day, and I think I heard something at the door. So I'm going to go see what it is. I'll be right back, everyone. All right, fast forward to the day. I got a longer package. 
I think I know what this is. And yes, I'm going to use some shears to cut the tape because quite clearly I don't have a box cutter and these are so delicate. They're very soft. Alright, now I'll just turn this thing around and put the shears down. And now we'll turn it back around. Sorry that you have to deal with this, but luckily it's more stable than, let's say, sh the shakiness that's usually experienced with this. We put this box over here. So, here we go. Ah, look at this, you guys. An uplift desk wave acoustic panel. It looks like it has a wavy texture on it, and it's gray, too. So, let's get this one out. And wow, this is super cool. Now, you may be wondering why I got this. This is part of the, uh, the design, as you can see. Um... As you can see, it's going to take a, there's a bunch of like little mount, a lot of mounting hardware. They just sent us that the other day, but here's the acoustic panel and I'm going to go ahead and get this out. It's not going here. It is actually going over here. Ow. Whoa. I almost fell. So I'm going to test this out up here so that you guys can see it. And I got 10 of them so that I can have a full half set covered with this. So, and they are trimmable as well, so I can trim them. But this is what it'll look like up here. And it kind of matches the paint up here. Of course, we'll put them up in the new year. The makeover is slowly coming to an end. It's almost done. We're just waiting on one more thing, and that should be coming in the next few weeks. But it'll be a four-drawer filing cabinet, which will store all, uh, anything that's on this shelf, and anything I'm keeping from all these desk drawers, so that I can prepare both of these for disposal. And with that said, um... There are a couple more things that I want to show you guys for the entire year. So, um, today technically was supposed to be the last episode in the main series, but again, I had to skip the 1st of July. I mentioned that like almost six months ago. So I've been forced to end it on New Year's Eve instead. But then, but then we'll actually get to see like all the stats and stuff like that. But um, yeah, here's what I've been desperately waiting to share with you guys. And with, and as soon as we get to that, um, we'll end off the video. But just as I was about to wonder when the four drawer filing cabinet would arrive, it arrived earlier than scheduled. Here's the arrival. Ignore the noise outside. It might be a helicopter. I don't know if you heard it. But, um, something else came today as well. As I was talking about the drawer file cabinet, it's here. Up we go. One second. Let's go ahead and open this other package up then. Oh hey, there's no tape. Won't need the scissors this time. Ugh. Wow. Of course, remains hot. I'm gonna get this out. 
a lot of styrofoam. It is super heavy. I think I'm going to lay this on the side and just pull it out. Just pull it out from here. Ugh. Ugh. So it's going to take a while. Well, here it is before I actually complete the assembly. It's, that's funny. They should have said some assembly required. Yeah, look at that. See, these two are the lockable ones, as you can see. Oh, here they are. Here's the and the keys. They're in, they're in here. So they give you keys. Need to figure out how to get that last one out of there. And then in another drawer there should be some levers and casters and etc. Well, here we go. It's hard to do this one handed, so I'm gonna have to put this down and come back. Alright, so this is the entire set contents, and this is going to be fun putting together. Wow. Let's have a look at the installation instructions. Come on. Oh, okay, there's different casters for different areas. Alright then, this will be fun putting together. Well, um... Before um, the year is out, there's a few more things I actually wanted to show you. And this was back in 2017, but this is an Oceanside. There's actually a new hotel, the Spring Hill Suites, and that is in the background. But then there's also a Metrolink that was coming in from, I believe, San Bernardino. But what we're doing is something very, uh, very, very different. We're on a different platform in the Transit Center. I have shown you Oceanside before. Yeah, a few months ago, and the last time I was there was about last year. And with that said, and, and before I tell you guys something, that horn's been going off for like a long time. Yeah, a lot. It's not one of the cars, and actually it's coming. It's something very, very unique. It's... It's what's known as a diesel multiple unit. And our particular D DMU, as they are abbreviated, is what's called a DeZero. And these DeZeros are DeZero classics, and they are like the same ones that can be found in Romania. And this DMU service is called the Sprinter. I'm surprised this isn't even found in Spain. Before we begin the trip, this is somewhere in Vista, and then the next photo is somewhere in San Marcos. And we're currently ascending from CSU San Marcos, and we're headed over um, an expressway, Highway 78. And this highway is usually congested. I mean, it is never this light, and I will tell you that immediately based on experience. It is always congested, just like the rest of Los Angeles, and pretty much most of Southern California, as a matter of fact. And here we are, we're joining the Escondido branch line. Ooh, we're going by an Albertsons. I never do my shopping there. I mean, I used to, but I don't do so no more. I mean, there's other options like Target and Smart and Final and etc. And Aldi. And we should be on final approach to Escondido very, very, very shortly. 
and I'm trying out the new blur feature on YouTube. Let me know what you think of it. And we're now passing through the Traction Maintenance Depot in Escondido. And shortly after this, we'll be pulling into the transit center. I actually had a connecting bus to catch, so um, I couldn't spend that much time in the station as much as I wanted to. We just crossed the Inland Rail Trail, which is a bike path that is still being built from Oceanside to Escondido, where it links up with the Coastal Rail Trail. So two multi-use trails being built. And here we are pulling into Escondido. It is a beautiful sunny afternoon and this was back in 2017. It was so many moons ago. So there we go. We have pulled in. And now we are going to get on to the I-15 Rapid. We're going to take that to Del Lago Transit Station. And just a disclaimer, this was recorded in 2017, well before the pandemic. So... Hold on. They... This is why they have handrails inside the transit vehicles now. Because we go around a curve and if the handrails were there, we would have fallen over into the aisle. And we're going to pull into one of the bus bays. And here we go. Here we go. Then we're there. And we're it's back. a park and ride, actually. So Both basically, right people park their cars, they come over to this bus bay, and they board wherever they need to go. Near Escondido is uh, Lake Wolford, and this is actually on the way to Valley Center and uh, Funner, where Harris SoCal is. And this is a photo of, I believe it's Point Loma, and also at Point Loma I caught this squirrel just hanging on the fence post. 14 kilometers south of downtown is a tinier town called Chula Vista, a mostly suburban town, but there is a marina and it's about to get some new development upgrades. And it's around that same area where the development is going to occur is where I shot the sunset photo and this is just months before the main part of the development even broke ground. And you may have also guessed this was looking towards that Bayfront redevelopment project from the parking structure in the Chula Mall which is also nearby. Returning to downtown San Diego there is one last thing I want to show you and I'm going to explain that right about now. Well, there is one last thing I want to do before the year is done, and that is a studio tour. First, I'll show you what I had at the beginning of the year. Roll the clips. At the very beginning of the year, I had just unboxed the Yeti. And I had a very different desk, and the walls were green. So here's the mic just out of the box. And... That kind of leads us into the term of the week. And things have evolved rapidly throughout the past month. So now the shelf is outgoing and I will now store some many some of the most of the items here in this filing cabinet. This desk is also on its way out and so is this chair. And might get some coat hooks. And in its place we have this DX Racer chair. And I have this beautiful desk and it even has TikTok lights on it. And it's kind of a mess, and I'm picking that up soon, once I get everything into their filing drawers. But the boombox, the iPad, this and that and that, that still stays the same. And that too. And we got these panels. This is just a demo on what it's going to look like. Eventually, all the panels that I got are going to cover this half of the wall. And they are trimmable, and I'll use the trim. And I don't know what I don't know what to do with trimmings yet. Um, but yeah, the makeover is pr almost done. We just have this to go, and it's and then have all these pulled out, and 
there we go. That's stage two of the makeover done. With that said, with that said, this is pretty much going to bring this to a close. Um, thank you guys so much for sticking with me for the past year. We have one last term of the week, but um, instead of being my usual terms where I usually have a, just a blank rectangle, this one I already snapshotted this about a year in advance and I've been prepared to read it. So let's get with the term of the week and we'll see you guys New Year's Eve for the recap and a little bit of fast forward. So with that said, let's do it. And our final term is Yeti. First definition is a legendary ape-like creature who roams the Himalayas, as in like the movie uh, Abominable. And the second one is an incredibly versatile USB microphone found worldwide. Synonyms, amazing vocals, music, podcasts, voiceovers, interviews, conference calls, field recording, and much, much more. Uh, the mic I use is called a Yeti. Well, that concludes the main series. And don't forget, New Year's Eve, um, we do have those uh, year-end stats for this channel and how it did, as well as a nice little montage. And then, come New Year's Day, we are going to start streaming on YouTube. And the stream schedule, I'm pretty much going to be doing it every Friday. And I'll be multi-streaming it on Twitch. It'll be simulcast. So you guys can also follow me on Twitch as well. Again, those links will be going in the description box below. And with that said, um... I'll do it and Happy New Year.